Well, I spent a couple of days in Cambridge, Massachusetts, talking to people on both sides of the Professor Gates, Officer Crowley issue. Now, following yesterday's news conference, I spoke to several of Sergeant Crowley's colleagues with him there in the room, listening. And I have to tell you, they were very passionate and at points pretty emotional. Take a look. It happens to be a white officer on a black man, and the common cause call a lot of times is to call it a racist situation. The, let me, don't, let me, don't get me wrong, it does happen. It has happened here in Cambridge. And I can't say it will not ever happen again in Cambridge. This situation right here was not a racial motivated situation. And you know people, obviously, they're going to pay closer attention to you because you're an African-American man, I'm just being honest, and mm -hmm. you're supporting this white officer that is, has been put out there by some that he was, you know, racially profiling Dr. Gates. They're going to pay attention to you. I hope they would. Uh, they called him, a, I heard one of the comments, a rogue cop. There's nothing rogue about him. He was doing his job. Not only Sergeant Crowley, but the men and the women, the officers of the Cambridge Police Department, who are good, upstanding officers, did not deserve this. Did not deserve this negative attention. Uh, didn't deserve it at all. When you heard about what happened with this sergeant, what did you think? I was appalled. I know Jimmy. I've known him for more than the 11 years. With the Cambridge Police, I knew him when he worked for Harvard. I know him to be a good police officer, a good man with character, and I knew these charges were bogus. There has been a tremendous rush to judgment, and I think the thing to be learned first and foremost from this is, is to look at all of the evidence, to consider all, to weigh all. I think Professor Gates has done a very good job of throwing up a very effective smoke screen, calling race into this. It had nothing to do with it. And the president? It's unfortunate. I supported him. I voted for him. I will not again. I agree that I think it's admirable that he would speak on behalf of his friend, but he should have recused himself. He should have stepped back, and he should have said, I support my friend, but I don't have all the facts. I won't weigh in yet. And the governor? I would apply the same to him. What do you want people around the country to know who may have already made up their mind about Sergeant Jimmy Crowley? Keep their minds open and realize that we would not support someone that we felt wronged someone else. We took this job to do the right thing. We all took this job to do the right thing. We would not support anyone in blue doing the wrong thing. Um, I know you can't respond, you can't talk. You can... Nod your head, you've gotta be touched by this. 